Bonjour. Bon live. Bonne rediffusion à vos YouTube. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Petit café. Manette, c'est mieux pour jouer. Et on est reparti. Alors, quel colis, quelle lettre on va distribuer aujourd'hui Alors, on en était par là, ok, d'accord. Qu'est-ce qu'on devait faire aujourd'hui Garder les chats. Garder les chats. On est là, il faut qu'on aille là. C'est le premier trajet, je vais le faire. J'espère que vous allez bien aujourd'hui. Hop, euh, allons voir Monsieur le Bûcheron. for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks, and likewise. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada, uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Um, sure, yeah. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Ok, ok. Par contre, on n'a pas revu... La madame de la vidéothèque. Hein. Du magasin de vidéo.
Allez, on est reparti. On conduit pas si mal que ça ce matin. Hein. Allez, hop, c'est la dernière, je crois. I'm calling it a day. Allez, on est parti. On peut plus rien faire ici du coup. Elle est partie, partie. Comment tu peux So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. You va me disputer. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Do you like Maureen? We ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Come on, Mama Shark. 
Sí. <risa> Take. Let's have a listen. Encore avoir des, des soucis avec la vidéo, pas grave. Hello. Hi Meredith. Guess what I signed today. The contracts for the added 87 deal? Oh yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell. CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But, before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say, to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's going to keep you company tonight. Come here. Kee kee. Ow. Ok, <rire> les monstres ont attaqué au secours. A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not so timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Qu'est-ce qu'on va faire? Ça c'est fait, il est pour là. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a PO positive or pet pee. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds, and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Yeah, but see, huh?
J'ai toujours pas l'habitude de regarder ce que j'ai à faire. Du coup, je, je devrais savoir où sont les lettres et tout. Euh, si je faisais un peu plus attention. Excuse-moi, mais je vais encore avoir des soucis si je laisse la musique. Il pieux, il mouille. Yep. Je suis sûr que c'est pas la bête. C'est ce que je pensais. Et pas la peine non plus. Celle-ci. Un petit coulis. Ah, you're still here, huh? That makes two of us. When are your parents coming back? Do you miss them? What would make you think that? You're so warm-hearted. Everyone probably likes you. Everybody's nice to me, because P.O. would fade away without this door. They should replace the deer statue with one of you. A bit of appreciation every now and then would be nice. Well, I better be on my way. Ouais, ouais, ouais. So long, Miss Sunshine. <laughs> Cet échange est, est plein de sens. Wow. T'as quoi à faire aujourd'hui On va dîner avec Robert.
Et puis t'es renard. Je voulais aller à la fin voir si je peux pas diffuser la chanson sur la radio. Oups, un petit peu gros le virage là. <rire> ah, qui Allez. Pas grave. Il n'y a personne qui a vu. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know her. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some swell performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening, and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Attends, je peux pas donner la cassette de l'autre là. Voilà, on va vous après. Chute. Oh non, pas lui. heavier than I thought. It's the mail. I'm busy. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Take it easy. It's just a game. 
Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm going Allez, au suivant. On va voir après. On va au cabane. Il a fait la carnouille. Jusqu'à la station service. Je jamais regardé trop de face, c'est que moi je suis trop du tout seul. Hein. C'est une petite on va tout miller. On Interesting. Very up, pretty cool.
Hmm. I guess nobody's home. Hope nobody comes and steals this. Il reste plus que ici et on aura tout fait. Et aujourd'hui, dîner avec Robert, c'est tout. done. And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. Never underestimate White Sox. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you that they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Ay, 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 ay. Ça veut dire qu'on va avoir du choix. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? No, no, that's not it. It's just easy going here. Yeah, 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 the surroundings, yeah, yeah. the job, the people. So maybe you just need a break. Or maybe this really is what you want. But whatever you decide, think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down.
No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? <laughs> he likes that. I'm oh, they got to use this show. Gotta that go. Cool? Bye, Em. Take care. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Allez, une bonne côte de bœuf. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a. Ouais, allez, une bière et une côte de bœuf. Robert. The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. <laughs> yeah, right. And you're his stage manager. <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? It depends on who's on the round. Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? It's not right to gossip. So, I won't do that. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, you're a better person than me. Oh well, small towns. Can't like everyone. Can't avoid them either. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But... Maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Maybe not. I mean, if you don't want to. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out.
Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck with the apartment. No, no, but tell him. If you need help. Non, 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 c'est bon. Ah, à la fois. Jamais je n'aurais pensé que livrer du courrier pendant deux semaines semblerait, ressemblerait à ça. J'ai rencontré tellement de nouvelles personnes, certaines étaient très sympathiques. D'autres, un peu moins, mais une, chacune intéressante à sa façon. Mon travail temporaire de factrice se termine officiellement demain. En dehors de l'expérience professionnelle, un changement d'environnement a, a toujours du bon. Je vérifierai sans doute ce soir lors de la scène ouverte chez moi. <rire> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So we ask the bartender. What's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, Ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Looking fine as always. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time. And money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Well, that sure beats getting a teddy bear in the mail, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? I must admit, it, it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. <laughs> I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair. <coughs> Now I'm here looking like a loser. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Jeffrey Beaumont? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So... What have I missed? Well, Matt Kearney's condition is worth a mention. 
But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was wow, very sweet. Come in, I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The hermit shell is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later! An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of the Hermit Shell. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. You know, come to think of it, you might have more of a use for it than I do. I... I'd love an RV. I mean, that'd be perfect. But I, I don't know if I can accept it. I mean, June and Mickey must have entrusted you with it for a reason. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? Nah, I'm good. It's all yours. Yes, wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and that's a first for me. Don't mention it. I just like seeing you happy. And vice versa, babe. Really. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind. And go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. Allez. Je suis comprise dans le camping car. Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm, there's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait. Dear people, none other than our own Kate. Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. La tête des clients, ça fait peur. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? 
Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? I have to hand it to you. You that were great. Yeah. I have to go in a bit, but... Let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and... Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. I promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? We 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 remember time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks for everything. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. But I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. Boom. See that fun? I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? It was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! Huh, you know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out, and maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods, rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. Are you sure? Sounds like a lot of work. Like that ever held me back. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that... That girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. I think 
A lot has happened since those days we used to spend out in the watchtower. I'll always cherish that time, but I think that's it for me and Kay. I hope you're not too disappointed because, you know, you can be a scary woman. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hon. Thanks, Maureen. Adi, adi, I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. J'ai l'impression d'entendre des chats partout là. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Ha <laughs> ha, Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. No, no. on se casse. I'm Je leaving finir Providence cette Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Well, actually, I'm... Uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? No, wait. That's an RV. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. So, I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye, Frank. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you too, Meredith. Goodbye. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The Hermit Shell in all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. <laughs> You're very welcome. Have fun on the road, Miss W. Thank you, Lori. Will you be back? Probably. I made some friends here. I'll want to see them again. Okay. Well, if you ever find yourself here again, come and say hi. Sure thing. I'd like that. See you around, Lori. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah... About that. Hmm? I have one condition. I get to pick which movie we watch first. <laughs> Deal. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. What? What have you heard? From who? People talk. Qu'est-ce qu'elle a ma conduite? When advertising exec David Howard (parentheses Albert Brooks) is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda (parentheses Monica Johnson) to sell their house and roam the country, easy rider style, in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. 
<laughs> nope, we've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? What, are you a poet now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? Sorry for butting in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own Kay Evans. A Dufini! Je vais être obligé de couper le... le... Je suis obligé de couper parce que sinon les vidéos elles vont avoir du mal. Voilà. J'ai pas le droit de diffuser les musiques. Donc je passe des heures et des heures à tout refaire. Merci de nous avoir regardé et suivi pour cette histoire YouTube. Je vous souhaite une bonne fin de journée. Une bonne fin de tout. Et si l'histoire vous a intéressé et que vous voulez faire des choix différents, je sais qu'il y a plusieurs fins. Donc faites-vous plaisir et jouez-y. Bye bye, prenez soin de vous, à bientôt.